Hi, this is Nelly uh, from Wasabi. Welcome to this uh, Cloud NAS 3.0 uh, features and functionality video. Um, so what we're going to do today, version 3 of Cloud NAS came out a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's the it's uh, the middle of September 2024. So as I say, Cloud NAS version 3.0 came out a couple of weeks ago. And there are some exciting upgrades uh, around versioning and uh, soft delete that we're gonna go through today. So we've all, always had versioning with Cloud NAS, um, and one of the problems with the versioning was that there was no lifecycle management on it. So uh, when you created a version, it, it just created a version as you kept creating more and more versions of a file. Uh, there wasn't really any way of clearing down the older versions if you wanted to. So the versions just kept growing and growing and growing. Um, also, one of the other things that we have the ability to do with cloud nas is decide whether we want to delete the cloud copy of a file when we delete the on-premises copy um, or not now the problem with saying uh, yes we do want to delete the cloud copy is sometimes a user may have made a mistake and they go oops i made a mistake i deleted the wrong file uh, can i get my file back and no it's it's gone so the idea around soft delete is to give you a buffer window a time window of if you delete a file locally how long before it actually gets the the cloud copy of that file actually gets deleted in wasabi so we're going to go ahead and do a little demo uh, of those two products. I'm going to lose my lovely face because you guys don't want to see that. Oh, sorry, I hate using the word guys. You friendly people don't want to see that. So there we go. Uh, so there we go. Lose Nelly. So perfect. So what I've got here is a share um, NS3 which I've uh, added into Cloud NAS. You see we're on version 3.0.0.11, uh, which is currently the latest version of, as of um, today. There is a, uh, a small release due any second, but at the moment this is the latest uh, version. So I've just taken this NS3 share. I've added it in as a share, connected up to London. Um, nothing special about it. I've done nothing with the bucket settings. Um, global settings, I can't remember um, whether replica versions is on or off by default, but I've got mine uh, turned on. So this, you will need replica versions enabled to do the uh, versioning. So I've got that ticked, ready to go. Um, and I haven't space reclaimed these files. They're all full fat files still. Um, you see what size on disk is the size of the file. So I, I haven't... Uh, done any space reclamation all of these products worked is just as well with normal files or with reclaimed files so um, i didn't see the point in doing it so what we're going to do first is go through the versioning so the first thing i need to do is enable versioning on the bucket so i just come into the bucket settings click the enable versioning tab and hit the apply button so that will now enable versionings on the bucket itself so if i go and look at the bucket quickly um, the settings on the bucket and versioning. Yep, there we go. So we can see versioning has been enabled. Um, just notice I was using this for another demo. So I do, yep, no, that's correct. That's perfect. Yep. So we'll go to the, um, the share again and we'll add policy and we want to do our versioning policy. So as I said, we've always done versioning, but we've not done any, any life cycle on those versionings. So what this policy allows us to do is some um, life cycling. So I can say um, delete versions older than a certain number of time, or I can say keep a certain number of versions before I, I kind of recycle them. So. Uh, by age, I could do it by seconds, minutes, um, you know, hours, days, or weeks. Um, or by count, I just pick a number. So I'm going to do mine by count today. So I'm going to say I want to keep two versions of a file. That's all. So the live copy and then two separate versions underneath that a user could potentially roll back to. So we'll go and hit um, apply on that. So we've got our versioning policy now with two running. We've got versioning enabled there. We've got versioning enabled up there. Um, so what we should be able to do now is on the uh, on a file itself, uh, I'll pick one. We'll stick with duck. That's the one I was on. So if I open duck and I just change some 
uh, or add some text. I'm going to call this one Neil 1. So that's my first, actually, Neil 1 V1. Neil 1 version 1. So we'll save that. This should change to uh, a white cloud with three dots in it, which it has done. And then uh, when this file replicates, let's just check the stats to see what's happening. Yep, one file pending. So when my 20 second replication policy kicks in, uh, we'll see that this file gets, um, gets saved gets replicated there we go all gone back to zero again and if we look at the properties of duck um, we'll see that there is a version of uh, duck available now so i could restore or delete that uh, the version that we've created well, i'm not going to i'm going to go and create another version so let's do another drop down line let's just add some more text in uh oops neil can't spell my own name too version two there we go and we'll do this again a couple of times just so that we've got um, a few versions so we can see that when the lifecycle policy kicks in, when the versioning policy kicks in, that it will start deleting the older versions. So we'll just wait for uh, my synchronization to my replication, sorry, to occur again, which should be any second. And then as soon as that's done, again, we'll go back to our green uh, green cloud with a tick and we can go in and add our other version uh, Neil oops three version three there we go we'll save that and I might do one more just for fun because because uh, I feel like it and you people have probably got nothing else to watch so uh, it's nice to just watch watch this and listen to me waffle uh, so let's just cancel out of that one and we'll just wait for the green tick to appear and then we'll uh, we'll do one more just so that we can see we've got uh, quite a few versions and then we'll wait for the versioning policy to kick in. So again, last one coming in now, Neil 4, version 4. Oh, big V on that one. Let's keep it uniform. Uh, we'll save that. And again, uh, we'll wait for the replication. We can look at what's currently there. So there are, yep. Um, so we've got a local version. Uh, we just need to wait for that to replicate. So we've got a live copy and then three separate versions. Cool. So once that's replicated, again, we'll just look in the, the bucket itself. Turn the versioning on. So exactly the same thing. Oh, not cat. We need duck, which is down here. Uh, let's just look at 25. There we go. So duck is here. So duck, one, two, three, four versions. So I've got the, the primary copy and then four versions of, uh, of the text file duck. Now, it does take a minute or two for the versioning to kick in. Um, so we'll leave this for a second. I'll pause the video. And then when I start seeing those files deleted, I'll start recording again. And we'll have a look at what's going on. Hello. So um, I popped downstairs and made dinner for my son. So that's let the time elapse a bit now. So if we come back and look at the properties of duck, uh, we can see that, yep, there are only two versions now, so that's fine. The versioning policies worked. It's kept uh, the live version and two versions. And again, if we go back to the bucket as well, uh, we'll just refresh the bucket. Uh, change this to 25 so we can see duck. And wherever duck's gone, there's duck that show the versions. Uh, so here we go. So duck here and we've got the live copy and two versions. So that's the idea around the versioning policy is, as I said, just to keep a minimum number of max sorry, maximum number of versions. Or you can, as I say, do it by age. So, you know, anything older than six months, get rid of something like that. So that's the versioning policy. And then the other policy, <coughs> excuse me, the other policy is the soft delete policy. So when we look at the global settings, we'll see we've got this ticked. Delete the replica when a source file is removed. So if I take, uh, I'm going to pick on Wombat here. So if I go ahead and delete Wombat. Now remember with Cloud NAS, we also have to delete out the recycle bin. So let's empty the recycle bin. Now, Wombat should disappear once our replication uh, happens. Wombat should disappear in the console. So uh where's wombat there's one back there at the moment so if we refresh and have another look 
Uh, hopefully at some point we'll see Wombat disappear. So yep, it's not there anymore. It's uh, it's gone. So the policy that policy's worked. So it's you know is deleted the replica file when the source file is removed. Now. The whole idea around soft delete is that we can put a timeout on that uh, deletion. So let's come back onto the share and add policy. And then we'll add in the soft delete policy. Very, very simple policy. You can see it's uh, only one setting. So remove files after a certain amount of time. So let's make this minutes. I'm going to change this to five minutes um, and apply that. So what should happen now if I delete a file is it shouldn't be deleted in the Wasabi console for up to five minutes. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick the next one, which is Weasel here, and we'll go ahead and delete Weasel. So Weasel's gone, and we'll empty Weasel from the recycle bin. So there we go. We've got no copies of Weasel locally. So what we'll do now, I'm going to wait 30 seconds, I'll just pause the video, and then we'll check the cloud console to see if Weasel is still there. So I've waited a minute now, so um, we can come back into our console. We'll see, before we refresh, so Weasel is there, we'll do a refresh, and Weasel should still be there at the moment, yep. So Weasel is just still there. So... Um, it's 5.28 in the afternoon, so we'll leave it a few more minutes. And then after five minutes have expired, we should see weasel.txt um, be deleted out of the bucket as well. So some time now has elapsed. Um, I haven't refreshed the screen, so we can see Weasel uh, is still showing up. So we'll refresh the screen and take a look down our list. Let's just change this to 25. And yep weasel has been cleared out so there we go that was a uh, brief overview of the two new features within cloud nas so we've got the versioning policy where we can uh I'll say cut down to the minimum number of maximum number of versions to keep or uh, maximum age of a version and then soft delete to allow us that little buffer of time um, if we've got the uh, delete replica box ticked a little buffer of time to allow us to um, not delete the cloud copy for a certain uh, amount of time. So hopefully that was useful for everyone and uh, thank you very much for watching.